Welcome to First Nordic Metals, a trailblazer in the quest for precious metals across Sweden's highly prospective gold line belt. As one of the largest claim holders in Scandinavia, First Nordic Metals is strategically advancing the high potential Barcelate project and aims to discover, test and grow several other similar deposits. Here a robust partnership with the mining powerhouse Agnico Eagle Mines not only underscores a commitment to growth but also leverages a combined expertise to tap into an impressive resource of over 2.4 million ounces of gold at Barcelate. One of the key factors here is we're dealing with one of the largest mining companies in the world. Agnico Eagle has been doing a lot of the exploration for work. We have a, a joint venture that Agnico funds completely up to 70%. So we're dealing with one of the largest companies in the world. We're leveraging their relationships, which they've built for 10 years. And uh, we get to build on that after a decade-long exploration process that has yielded this wonderful 2.5 million ounce gold deposit. Unlocking the secrets beneath Sweden's glacial landscapes requires a blend of traditional wisdom and cutting-edge science, a challenge enthusiastically met by our team. Usually the rocks would come out of the ground and you'd be able to see them. In Sweden you have to use something called base of till drilling, and it really these are shallow holes that you drill to go and try and find your bedrock. And the strategy in Sweden that has been applied is base of till drilling, it's used all over Scandinavia, and that's really ultimately how you, you make your discoveries. We've had, the, we've had the benefit of using geophysics, so you can kind of see what's happening under the ground. But the combination of really good chemistry, uh, geophysical analysis, and base of till drilling is what identifies these targets. And then you go and do deeper drilling to, to make your larger discoveries. And that's what we've leveraged in Scandinavia. The synergy of the recent merger with Goldline illuminates the path toward expanded horizons and enhanced exploration potential. The recent merger between Barsley and Goldline is really exciting and will really help both companies grow, and mainly because it was a very obvious and natural merger. Our properties are contiguous to each other. Uh, we were effectively sat surrounding Barsley with a much larger land package than they have. They were further along in the project that they were exploring, but again, a very obvious and natural merger because you can use the information and the expertise you've developed advancing the deposit they have at the Barsley project to hopefully find several other Barsleys on this large, large belt. We have a hundred kilometer belt where we think hopefully we can find two, three more deposits of a very similar style. As we reflect on the substantial groundwork already laid, the future brims with potential for uncovering new deposits that echo the legacy of Barsley. So a lot of work has been done already on the Barsley project. Over $15 million has been spent uh, by Nico. And then uh, also at our project, some earlier stage work has been done. A discovery has been made where we think it's beginning to show the, the early days of, of another Barsley project that's at the POW back in Target. And there's already, like I said, five, six key targets over this belt that we want to test and hopefully that number will grow and we'll test them and move them forward if they look like they're, they're worthy of, of being tested. But ultimately, we do believe that on this land package, on this belt, based on what we're seeing from other greenstone belts in the world, other belts similar to this, that we will find two, three more parsley style deposits with very good grade and meaningful size. Uh, that can be advanced to, towards production. The surging interest in Scandinavian mining is reshaping the region's landscape, promising a future rich in opportunity and advancement. I think the, uh, the attention and, and the push for mining now in Scandinavia, which is, which is happening, will be very important for us. Uh, it's, a, it's an area that's already getting hot in terms of potential deals and companies being acquired, exploration dollars being spent or at their highest in Scandinavia. The governments there are becoming supportive and pushing along mining projects and want that foreign investment coming in. And then really, Scandinavia only up and opened up to exploration, mineral exploration, kind of in the early 2000s. So they're probably 70, 80 years behind, for example, Canada uh, and Northern Canada, which is obviously prolific for, for mines. So it's I'm very excited to see that, you know, Scandinavia is moving out of directions when uh, Sweden and Finland. And, and, a, and a, I think it's a great place to work. It's very low cost, a lot of advantages, uh, low cost power, skilled mining force available. So I, I, I think it's going to be uh, extremely beneficial for us to move this project forward. The exploration landscape is ripe with short term catalysts that could significantly enhance the value for our stakeholders, marking a pivotal moment in our journey. Some of the short term catalysts are obviously following up on our new discovery at Paul Backen. 
Uh, we've only put 1,100 meters of drilling into that, so that deserves a dedicated drill campaign. Ignico is actively drilling at Barcelli, so we think that we're going to obviously have more results at Barcelli coming this summer as well. And we're pretty excited in the north at the Store Yukton project, which um, we have work committed there. We think we could potentially make a third discovery there. So a lot of catalysts focused on the gold line belt and the uh, price of gold is going up. So I think it's going to be an exciting you know, summer and fall for First Nordic Metals shareholders.